Vision transformers have recently emerged as a state-of-the-art architecture for various computer vision tasks. Unfortunately, vision transformers also have a high computational cost. Here we show the computational costs of a couple of recent models. This is a particular challenge in applications with low latency compute or power budgets. In this work, we describe a method for leveraging temporal redundancy between subsequent inputs to a vision transformer. Our basic idea is to reprocess only those tokens that have undergone large changes. We start by proposing a token gating module that determines which tokens to update. Updating the gating module involves four steps. First, we compute the amount of change or error in each token by comparing it to a stored reference. Second, we apply a selection policy which selects some tokens to update. For example, we could select the K tokens with the largest errors. Third, we generate an output tensor by gathering the selected tokens. Finally, we update the stored reference at the locations of the updated tokens. We describe a set of modifications to an existing vision transformer block, which allow the block to account for temporal redundancy in tokens. See our paper for details. We outline a method for efficiently updating the self-attention computation. Our method involves only dense matrix multiplications. It does not require any custom sparse kernels. See our paper for more details. We evaluate our approach on video object detection using the VITDET model. We test both with 1024 resolution and 672 resolution inputs. These plots show the number of updated tokens on the x-axis and the computation savings and accuracy change on the y-axis. We observe significant compute savings with only minor reductions in accuracy. We also consider video action recognition on the Epic Kitchens 100 dataset using the Vivid model. We test three versions of the model optimized for different numbers of updated tokens. Here we show the trade-off between compute cost and classification accuracy. Here we show a visualization of the updated tokens within the network. On the top, we show the network prediction. The middle row shows the token error, and the bottom row shows which tokens were selected to be updated. Our method gives adaptive control over the computational cost at runtime. Here we show an example where the compute budget changes over the duration of a video. Thank you. Please see our paper and the associated web page for more details.